hello everyone very good morning and welcome to the ABAP for functional session today we will be learning about the module pool essence which is going to help to debug the screen related stuff and then uh, we will be learning about how to update the entries in the table with the help of a debugging also we'll be learning about the steps what need to be followed to debug the SAP backend system from UI5 or few applications or some other SAP system. And then we will do the debugging in screen sharing. <clears throat> I will be giving you some scenario and you just have to do the debugging. So let's go and start with the module pool. This module pool is also known as the screen programming okay this module pool is also known as the screen programming or dialogue programming so module pool so currently people are more moving towards the ui5 or fury kind of application for their gui purpose you know so module pool is getting not that much popularity as it was having earlier but there are many uh, transactions or many things in backend is still there which is using the screen for example me 21 and when you open you get the screen to put the entries and all right so completely gui screen module pool means completely gui screen <clears throat> okay so let me show you so if you go to any transaction for example me 21 n some error is there mm01 so this is module you know this is a screen actually what is this this is the screen this has been designed using the screen painter so this is the module pool programming, you know. Module pool programming means a screen programming. So this has been designed using the, you know, a screen painter. So just in a simple words, module pool is nothing but, this is also known as a screen programming. And for this screen, another term you are having the dialogue. So this is also known as the, dialogue programming so what is this so in this you have the sequence of a screen for example if you click on this if you give z uh, some value and if you select over here right and press enter press enter then this another screen is opening right and again if you click on this okay another screen is opening so you have the sequence of a screen right and here you can see that different tab strip you are having so this has been done in the module pool okay this has been done in the module pool so in this sequence of screens are designed to achieve the requirement or business functionality, whatever you want to tell, you can tell. So now, now in sequence of screens over here, now you can see that a screen programming, its name is also a screen programming. So if you understand the screen, you will understand the module pool, okay? So here, if someone is going to ask you, what is the screen number? What you can do that you can press F1 and you can find out the screen number by clicking on that tool button. So this is 4004 is the screen in which this description is there, okay? Where I put F1 and the main screen is 1002. 
okay so what is the main screen and what is the sub screen that also i will show you okay let's go mn01 once again and here if you want to find out what is the screen over here you can press f1 and you can go to here and you can see that 0060 is the screen where the coding has been done right so how to check out this screen in order to check out this screen first you have to go to the actual program so go to system click on this status and here this is the program double click over here din pro see so <laughs> one more thing this uh, screen another name is also din pro a screen another name is also din pro so this is also known as the din pro program okay so either it will screen programming dialog programming din pro programming everything is same or module pool programming you know different different name for one stuff go to here click on this button so that you will go into s e a t s uh, you know here you can see that you came into s e a t and now you have to go to that particular screen number screen number 60 so here you can see that go here and look out for the 60 number screen double click over here and click on this layout i have double clicked on this screen number 60 and now i'll click on this layout and you will see that it is the same screen see here material number industry sector material type right if you just observe here if you go to mm01 right you will be having material number industry sector material type right then change scheduling for change number all these things this screen has been designed in module pool right you can see that inside the screen painter okay inside the screen painter it has been uh, designed right so this is what i wanted to tell you if in if you go to sc11 where it has been designed it has been designed in screen painter this is a module pool program if you click on the create button another screen open all this has been happened in module pool whatever in sap gui is there everything is in there the module pool everything okay me21 and me22 and va01 and whatever transaction you know most of the transaction uses the module pool wherever you have the sequence of screens involved okay simple report will be difficult there to use because you are going to deal with the number of screens okay so module pool is the best way to do that yeah one sub screen you can use in multiple uh, one sub screen can be used in multiple many screen yes one sub screen you can use in multiple uh, you know yes you can use fine let's sir uh, i will show you one example i will create one module pool program so that you will get one uh, you will get an idea right how i'm telling that this is also module pool and everything if it is designed like this on the module pool you know you can see however in report also you can design but how you can make sure that it is a module pool you just press f1 and click on this tool and you know here 1000 screen the standard screen it's taking right the program name is this one just double click over here and go here and go to the screen number thousand okay so this is the screen right and if you click on this layout like this it is coming that means this is the module pool okay so you got some idea how to navigate to the module pool it will become more clear in another 10 minutes okay fine let's go and quickly create one module pool program I want to add two numbers and display the output on the screen. So what I want to do basically, uh, I want to get the first number on the screen over here. Okay, first number. And I want to get the another number over here, second number. 
and here I want to give uh, the button plus here I want to give the button minus you know so I can do the plus and minus when I click on the plus button it will add the two number and give me the result when I click on the minus it should subtract the second number from first number and it should give me the result so very simple application we are going to create so that the concept will become clear okay Uh, we'll see that full winning. Okay, let me show you first this one and then you can ask that question. Slash and AC 80. So, when you have to create the module pool application, we use AC 80 transaction. Okay, simple transaction just you have to remember AC 80. If you want to create report, also this is fine. If you want to create the function module, this is the same transaction where you can go and create. Okay, universal transaction. This is now. now you have to create the module pool program. So go to the program, okay? And I want to create the module pool program, ZAFF, uh, I think what's the latest program we have? Slash so OSC38. Eighteen, so 19 number program will create. One and nine, press enter, it will tell this program does not exist right so click on this button it's telling does not exist click on this yes button yes i want to create click on this yes and i want to create the module pool this one m so click on this button 